I think we need a little bit more practice at this. And, and so I'm going to show you an example similar, but kind of going at the different direction. I have an example here of a point written in polar form, complex number in polar form. And I want to transition or I want to rewrite this complex number in rectangular form. So a couple things I identify right away. I'm able to observe what the modulus is. That's the value of R. In this case, it's two. And I know what its argument is. Argument represents the theta. In this case, it's 60 degrees. So let's rewrite some things we know. Two, cosine is 60. We know what that is. We know what its value is. That's one half plus I. The sine is 60 degrees. Again, it's one of the 16 that we know. And that's root three over two. And again, I hope at this point, we're starting to become comfortable with knowing what those are rather than having to refer to our, our table that we've created or a calculator in some type of a way. So let's go ahead and clean this up a little bit. Look like I can multiply the two through. So that equals two times one half is a one. Two times I over root three over two gives me I root three. So there I have the complex number written in rectangular form where I started with a complex number that was written in polar form.